What did you have for breakfast? I mean, what happened when you had breakfast? And you know, you get the toast and you chew it and then you swallow it and it goes down into your stomach and then the magic of your digestive system starts. It starts extracting all the nutrients and putting it through your blood to power your brain and your body so you can play sports and learn stuff. And this, my friend, is the basics of how all of the planet works. I'm Layla Rajaralu and in this video we are going to be exploring the magic of systems, how they work, why sustainability is important to you and me, and just what you can do about helping make things work better. All natural systems are designed to add value over time. Nature essentially is a regenerative system, a little bit like your body. It's constantly getting you nutrients and getting stronger and more capable of doing things. And that is what the whole world is like. In fact, you and I are filled with systems. We have the neurological system, the cardiovascular system, and we're interacting with this incredible oxygen system that trees and phytoplankton are helping to produce. As I exhale, the carbon dioxide that comes out of my body, it's feeding a tree. And that is how the world is completely interconnected. Everything around us requires something else to survive. And as we look at nature, what we discover is that all of these nutrients are just cycling through, cycling, 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 and adding value. But when we look at the industrial systems that humans created, we often see where things like just kind of don't have a purpose at the end of their life. And all of the resources that we need to survive come from this planet. And what we're trying to do with the circular economy is figure out how to design so that we don't take away from nature in negative ways. And we use this incredible power of nutrient cycling to add value as we create the things we need in our lives. Absolutely everything is interconnected, which means that when you take things out of one system, it can have negative impacts. Like for example, if you took your brain out of your head, it's not gonna work for you. And nature has that kind of problem too. If we keep extracting things, then we can have negative impacts on the way those systems work. But you see, the thing is, is that most things in nature, they cycle through this biodegradation process. A little bit like the toast in your stomach, a banana out in nature, or this cellulose-based paper. Anything that's made from nature can go back into it really quickly and easily. And then on the other hand, we have the more technical products and processes that humans have made, such as plastics and different chemicals. Now, if they're designed in a particular way, they too can be very easily recycled through the technical systems. The issue really comes down to when we have natural and technical combines, like a little bit like this cup. It's paper on the outside and plastic on the inside, which makes it really hard to recycle. So when we're looking at the circular economy, what we're trying to do is design products and services that fit within one of these different nutrient cycles so that we can design then recapturing processes or take back schemes or repair even. These are all the kinds of things we can integrate into our everyday lives that help make sustainability happen. And what is this sustainability thing I'm talking about? Well, essentially, it's making sure that we don't make decisions today that have negative impacts for the future. It's so that you and I can have the kind of future that we want to live in. And that requires all of us, individuals, businesses, governments, in fact, our entire human species. We need to care about these systems because we are part of them. And it's really important for us to make sure that when we make the things that we need, we don't also destroy the bigger thing that we need, which is the planet. So one way to understand what kind of impact you have on the planet is through this thing called an ecological footprint. Essentially, every single one of us has this kind of like imprint that we make on the planet based on the choices we make, how we eat, how we get ourselves around, the things we wear. And so you can actually go online and do your ecological footprint. I almost guarantee you that you will be extremely surprised by how many planets it's required to make you live. And that's the fascinating thing about understanding this stuff is that when we buy things and we interact with the economy, we often don't realize how big an impact that is. And so we can make changes to our lifestyles and help to reduce our impacts. But the bigger challenge is to figure out how we can design the bigger systems so that they are already sustainable, so that they're regenerative, just like nature. So next time you're eating breakfast, you can have a more sustainable choice. Let me give you an example about biodegradability. So as I explained, anything that's made from a cellulose fiber can easily biodegrade back into nature. 
And so what we started to do is produce things like biodegradable bags instead of just generic uh, petrochemical plastics. The issue with this though is there are very many degrees of biodegradability and this bag, if it's not in the right conditions, won't necessarily biodegrade in the way we want it. So essentially there aren't any really simple solutions to complex problems. In fact, that's really what we need to be looking at, is embracing the complexity of all of the systems that play around us so that we can design things that truly are sustainable. So we're not just making more disposable stuff, but instead we're making things that fit within a beautiful circular system. So sustainability is really about meeting the needs of our generation without negatively impacting the ability of future generations to meet their needs. It's a little bit like making sure that your parents don't make things bad for your future. And that's the kind of challenges that we have today. We've learned a lot about the choices we've made and the impacts that that's had on the planet. And so right now what we're trying to do is figure out how to design for a future that doesn't create the same problems. And each of us can participate in that through the choices we make in our consumption, but also the kind of professions you have and the way in which you stand up for what you believe in and the kind of future you want to live in. Sustainability is about each of us caring about the things that are important, which is the planet and each other. What happened? Oh my God! <laughs> okay.